President Obama has issued an ultimatum to Syria's President Assad to either lead democratic transition in the country or, quote, to get out of the way. His warning came during a keynote speech, which has just finished on America's Middle East position, where he also announced financial help for Egypt and Tunisia. Artis Ghani Chichikan uh, listened in. She's in Washington. She's with us now, Ghani. More pressure on Syria tonight, though it seems like the U.S. is really ramping up the rhetoric there. Well, Kevin, you're right. President Obama said, quote, we'll get out of the way, end of quote, only when President Assad provides transition of power. Was there a threat implied? Could be. He also once again reprimanded Syria's partnership with Iran. It felt like he was talking from a position of a decision maker when it comes to Syria, hinting that the U.S. could get involved if President Assad uh, doesn't step down. Earlier, the U.S. has added the Syrian leader to their blacklist by imposing sanctions on him personally. Where it's all heading is unclear now. The U.S. is now involved in the civil war in Libya, where it is clearly taking sides and giving full support for the opposition leader. But a large, but a large portion of the Libyan population is very much opposed to any foreign intervention. And Washington's attempts to push certain people to power there uh, could mean years of conflict ahead. Experts say foreign intervention could create a much worse conflict in Syria, which is the heart of the air, which is in the very heart of the Arab world. It's Iran's closest ally in the region, and it could send shock waves throughout the whole region. And also in this speech, he may have infuriated some in Israel tonight by supporting a Palestinian state within those 1967 borders that were drawn up. Can you expand on that for us? Well, that's right, Kevin. On the Israeli-Palestinian issue, and that part of the speech was very much anticipated. Obama pushed harder for the Israelis to make concessions and to stop building settlements, at least. He suggested that Israel go back to pre-1967 borderlines, and that would mean uh, that what that means is giving up completely the West Bank, East Jerusalem, and the Gaza Strip. Uh, but. Um, he was very careful to say that the U.S. is solely an advisor here and cleared Washington of basically of any responsibility to act. There have been words before, but never any action to really push for the two-state solution, solution that President Obama was talking about. The fact that Israel is the protectorate of the United States and the Israeli lobby is very powerful here makes it even harder to expect a balanced approach from Washington. This Sunday, President Obama is going to deliver, is, is going to deliver a speech at the American-Israel Public Affairs Committee, APAC, that's the Israeli lobby here in Washington, and he's meeting with the Israeli president this Friday. So with this statement in line, they are sure to have a lot to talk about. Ghani Shijikan reporting um, from Washington, D.C. Thank you.